I'd like to uh, thank everybody who showed up today, especially the city of Columbus, you know, at this occasion. As you know that uh, Deschler Park uh, was one time the country, but today we're getting ready to enter a new age where we actually have some city amenities. And one is a sidewalk. And, and this sidewalk has been a long time coming. But I would like to say that during this time, we had a meeting at Barrett Recreation Center and we had a city council meeting and President Ginther was there and I thought that it was a pressing issue, especially on this street as you see, that people have sidewalks. There, at night there are very few lights and people walk on this, on this, in this area and they cannot be seen. It is a, definitely a safety issue. And so President Ginther and I discussed it. He promised me that there was going to be some sidewalks. He promised our Civic that it was going to be some sidewalks. And today we're going to have some sidewalks. So what I would like for to do right now, I would like to have President Ginther come up and talk to you about these sidewalks and what this sidewalk situation meant to him at that point in time. President Ginther. Thank you, uh, Mr. Boykin. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful, beautiful day to be outside on the south side. Thanks to all of you for coming out to join us here at Fairwood Park. I want to acknowledge a couple of special guests. Of course, we have some amazing neighborhood and community leaders, folks from the Area Commission that are here with us. And uh, I want to thank you all for being here and part of this announcement. Obviously, Director Collins, from Recreation and Parks and Director Davies from Public Service. Appreciate all your partnership in getting us to this point. Since joining council, I've made it a priority to engage uh, neighborhood leaders, area commissioners and civic associations. When I became council president, I made it a priority for council as a whole. Since then, my council colleagues and I have had uh, community meetings all throughout the city in every neighborhood and it's an important part of helping us stay connected to the people we serve. We sit down, as uh, Mr. Boykin mentioned, face to face at these meetings, not forcing people to come see us at City Hall, but being out in the neighborhoods, sitting down and talking with the folks that we represent. We listen, we exchange ideas, and we learn what we can do better to strengthen neighborhoods and how we can work together to create opportunities for Columbus residents. These meetings have given way to some great ideas, many of which have made a real difference and have helped to improve the quality of life in Columbus neighborhoods. City Council launched a graffiti removal program where with the owner's permission, city workers are able to remove vandalism from private property. We had never attempted a program like this in Columbus, and we wouldn't have if we hadn't listened to the community leaders who asked for it. City Council established a home renovation program providing millions of dollars to help residents make minor home repairs, improve their property, in some cases, avoid losing their homes. This too was a product of a community meeting. And without the support of neighborhood leaders, it might not have ever happened. But we're here today uh, because council listened to one of our strongest and outstanding community leaders. It was February 23rd, 2012, and Mr. Boykin came to a community meeting at Barrick Recreation Center. According to his business card, and I actually still have the packet from that community meeting that night, he was District 5, the District 5 Commissioner for the Deschler Park Civic Association. He waited patiently to talk to me, and when he got the chance, he sat down and presented a plan. He was asking for help, helping get rid of vacant and abandoned properties, help bring investment to the south side, and help connecting the residents of this great neighborhood to Fairwood Park and area businesses. 
He said, Council President, we need sidewalks along Fairwood Avenue. He left me with a letter explaining exactly what he wanted and pictures in case I needed to explain it to someone else. I still have that packet today. Mr. Boykin continued to follow up in the months and years to follow. And Mr. Boykin, I know it took longer than expected, but we're here today and it's getting done. Beginning this week, construction crews are installing sidewalks on the east side of Fairwood from right here at Fairwood Park south to Moeller Road. This follows up on a small section of sidewalks already completed from Whittier to Reinhardt. This is a $400,000 investment in the south side that we expect will be complete by next summer. And when complete, we will have provided a safe path for south side residents to access this beautiful park. These sidewalks are in addition to more than 97 miles of sidewalks the city has installed since 2000. Think about that, 97 miles. That's from here to Cincinnati. And none of this would have been possible without the outstanding leadership of Mayor Coleman, Director Davies, and our partners on city council, most especially the public service and Transportation Committee Chair, Council Member Shannon Harden, who I'm going to ask to come forward and share a few words with you now. Please welcome Council Member Harden. Well, thank you, President Ginther. It really is a beautiful day to be on the south side. Uh, I'm Shannon Harden, Chair of the Public Service and Transportation Committee. I want to thank uh, my uh, director, Director Davies, for all the work that she's done to uh, bring these sidewalks uh, uh, to this neighborhood. I'm a South Sider, so it brings me particular pride to be here this afternoon. Uh, and really, this is just a commitment, uh, one of many commitments that we've made to residents throughout the, the city of Columbus. Uh, part of a $33 million uh, streets and sidewalks uh, piece of legislation that we passed earlier this year under the leadership of President Ginther and with my colleague, support of, of uh, Jiza Page. So I want to thank everyone for being out here. Like we said, it was a, a, a promise we made and a promise we're keeping. So uh, we'll continue to do this work, continue to put streets, sidewalks throughout the entire community. Uh, so thank you so much. Thank you, Council Member Harden. You know, one of the reasons this project makes so much sense is because the Recreation and Parks Department is about to make significant investments in Fairwood Park to enhance the experience and improve the amenities for area residents. I'm pleased, as I had mentioned, that uh, the new Columbus Recreation and Parks Director, Mr. Tony Collins, has joined us today and honored to introduce the chair of the Recreation and Parks Committee, Council Member Jaisa Page, to share a few words. Thank you, Council President Ginther. And again, we would like to acknowledge the new Director of Recreation and Parks, Tony Collins. It has been an absolute pleasure to work with him over the past five months or so. He's just really innovative and wants to see the Columbus Recreation and Parks Department grow. And I am honored to have the privilege to work with you. And it's so great to join you in so many friendly faces as we build a better neighborhood along Fairwood Avenue. As a city invests in the area, I want everyone to know that Director Collins and his team at Recreation and Parks, and let's not forget Ms. Marty Grace, is working with area residents to build a better park. Because we believe it's not my park or the director's park, but it's your park. The district is currently working on a master plan that will look at a number of improvements to Fairwood. Some of the items being discussed include expanding the walking loop, maybe adding a shelter, some fitness equipment, and a skateboard park. All of these amenities are being considered and will be incorporated into final design and construction when the time comes to make these improvements. So there are great things happening in this neighborhood and there are great things happening in our park. Thanks everyone. Thank you, Council Member Page, and thanks to you all for joining us here today. This latest investment in the South Side will help carry forward the momentum that's been building in recent months and years. Columbus's best days are still ahead, and the same is true for the South Side of Columbus. I look forward to the opportunity 
to continue to listen and serve the residents of Columbus, to invest in our neighborhoods, and to continue our work to create opportunities for Columbus families. I want to thank again, and please join me in giving a round of applause both to Mr. Boykin and all these outstanding neighborhood and community leaders who have joined us here today. Thank you all for joining us today. I appreciate it.